Hey, everybody. This is a clip from the latest episode of The Randy Road Show. If you want the full episode, you can watch live on Free Speech TV, Dish Channel 94. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From Radio Beacon to Radio Beacon. Change has come to America. Believe it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey! It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your mind. He's following the radical left agenda. Take away your guns. Destroy your Second Amendment. No religion, no anything. Huh. Hurt the Bible, hurt God. He's against God, he's against guns. He's against energy, our kind of energy. Huh. Uh, I don't think he's going to do too well in Ohio. Oh, my God. Can I say that? Happy Friday, you bastards. Happy Friday. Oh. oh, we made it. Another 88 days. 88 days. We're going to learn to live with 88 days, right? Going to learn to live. What was that? What was that? That was Donald Trump yesterday uh, in Ohio uh, telling us about the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit the f was that about i mean what is uh how exactly will joe biden hurt the bible will he use it as a cheap prop whenever uh he's polling poorly will he gas people so that he can use it as a cheap prop when he's polling poorly will he be listed as by the state department as a state spreader of blasphemy i mean what is the deal here the sad truth is donald trump has been unable unable to beat joe biden he has been unable to make uh any of the socialist uh rabid commie stuff stick so now he's trying to convince america that joe biden who is a devout roman catholic seriously is the Antichrist. <laughs> I mean, good luck with that. Just, uh, you know, best of luck uh, to you. I mean, for God's sake, can I just say it that way? It's only August. Leave some room for escalation. This is, this is just the most amazing thing in the world. And, you know, uh, evangelicals, Christian conservatives, they're getting very smart. They're getting very hip to this. They're sick of being used. Welcome to the girls' world, okay? They're just sick of being used by this man who actually became um, a joke fest over issues of the Bible and its contents. I mean, we all remember the two Corinthians thing. Or we, you know, that was at Falwell University. It was so painful. I asked Jerry and I asked some of the folks because I hear this is a major theme right here. He hears. But two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, <laughs> 317. That's the whole ball game. What? Where the spirit of the Lord, right? Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And here there is Liberty College, but Liberty University. But... It is so true. Two Corinthians walk into a bar. I mean, uh, you know, uh, one uh, says there's a hurricane and a flood coming. The other one says, you're in luck. I know a guy. I mean, it just spawned all these stupid, stupid jokes. Two Corinthians go to the Nile. One goes broke. The other one finds a little profit. You know what I'm saying? Two Corinthians go to an unemployment office. One is reading a Bible. He says, oh, is it good? He says, I don't know. I heard there's a J-O-B in here. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just, he's, he has no idea what he's talking about. He goes to Liberty University. And by the way, Jerry Falwell has been exposed uh, as a front-running phony, as a complete false freaking Christian. The man was drunk in the morning yesterday. I don't know what it is with Donald Trump and drunks in the morning. Kudlow was drunk before 10 o'clock in the morning. Laura Ingram is, is like a wino, okay? She just whines and whines all day. She's, you know. And now we have Jerry Falwell calling into some radio show yesterday uh, to respond to something that made the rounds on social media. There was, you know, there's a band uh, called uh, Tra Trailer Park Boys. But Jerry Falwell had a Trailer Park Boy party on his freaking yacht with shirtless young boys. Come on, QAnon. With shirtless young boys 
roaming around, smoking cigarettes, getting drunk, you know, touching each other, everything. And then there was this awful photo of Jerry Falwell Jr., right, who's about to join his dad somewhere. I just look down naturally. It's just an inclination. It's because the spirit moves within me. So when I say Jerry Falwell, I, I'm sorry, I just automatically look in the direction of where he is. Uh, but his son is worse. So his son put on Instagram, he did it, a picture of him with a woman, a young girl, young girl, with her pants unzipped and his pants unzipped with his hand around her waist drinking. And it made the rounds and he had to go on a radio show to explain what this was about. And if you if you don't think he's drunk, um, give me your phone number and like I said, when my house catches fire, I will call you and you can purchase it because you will. You would be my buyer. But this was him. What was up with that picture on Instagram? You know, it was weird because she could she was she's pregnant, so she couldn't get her she couldn't get her pants up. <laughs> and so I was like trying to like my I had on a pair of jeans that I haven't worn in a long time, so I couldn't get mine zipped either. And so <laughs> and so I just put my belly I just put my belly out like hers and it was just um she's my wife's assistant and she's a sweetheart and I should never put it up because it embarrassed her because, um, anyway, I, I've apologized to everybody and I promised my kids I'm going to try to be, I'm going to try to be a good boy from here on out. <laughs> All right. And so and this is it with this TV show, this, this trailer park boys thing, yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> it was just the guy, it was the costume party on, the, uh, uh, and we, we were on vacation and anyway, long story short. It was just, uh, just, just in good fun. That's it. He's blasted. He's blotto. He's wasted. Okay. And this trailer, this trailer park boys party that he had on his yacht. Um, everybody in media who cares about putting fact checked things on their air, like me, I wouldn't play the video. Because we couldn't verify it. Nobody knew if it was real or if it was some hoax video or if it was some, you know, manipulated video. Because Donald Trump is using doctored photos of Joe Biden now uh, to try. I, I, he literally has a doctored photo of Joe Biden praying, praying with Black Lives Matter after the George Floyd murder. And used it to show Joe Biden alone and desperate, you know what I mean? It, it, I, so we didn't know if this video was real. No one did. I know Chris Hayes didn't know if it was. And we, I, I wouldn't air it because I, I, didn't, I didn't know. Apparently it's real. He just admits it, that he had what he's calling a Trailer Park Boys costume party on his yacht where everyone is shirtless, especially the young men, uh, the pregnant girls have their pants unzipped, and he's got his pants unzipped. Uh, listen, these these people are using faith, uh, people of faith, to get their money. I mean, it's just a big scam. It's disgusting. It's it's you know, and, and Pat Robertson, who's ninety, and you know who else is ninety today? Loretta, my mother, is ninety. Oh! Yes, the old gray mare, Loretta, is ninety years old today. I had to have a COVID test and wear a mask and gloves, but I was permitted to go see her today in her apartment. And I um, snuck in there, okay, with permission. I snuck in there and uh, she got a new balcony added to her apartment, it's brand new. And so we decorated it for her. We built furniture for her. Rock what do you get when you're 90? Rocking chairs. We got her rocking chairs. Anyway, I'm Instagramming pictures of my 90-year-old mother, uh, you know, crying with joy because I built her, you know, me and Howard built her rocking chairs on the table, and, you know, I'm a good gardener, so I planted her a bunch of planters, and she's crying and weeping. And they're 90 years old, uh, and Instagramming shirtless boys. <laughs> 